The Open Mic Broadcast Network would like to take this time to recognize its sponsors and underwriters. Attorney Lee Van Richardson, Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union, Prairie View Athletic Club, Temple of Refuge Ministries, Reflections Paint and Body Shop, Helping Hands Lawn Service, the Hotline Press Newspaper of Hempstead, Texas, Diva Skin Conditioner, Purple Drip, Daiquiri, and Grill. For more information on how you can become an underwriter or a sponsor here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network, our number to call is 832-213-8824. Serving the community through faith and athletics. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, Prairie View, Texas. It's the radio guy, Mike Prince. Welcome to another episode of the Open Mic Broadcast Network and the Mike Prince Show. Our daily mission is to try to bring you some news that you could use. Today will be no exception to the rule. Follow me on Twitter at the Mike Prince Show. The YouTube channel is the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Uh, 24-hour dialing message line 713-570-6736. And without any further delay, we'll jump right into today's episode. Yesterday, we started off talking about storylines for Prairie View and Texas Southern football programs, and we figured we may as well continue with more storylines developing from the West within the Southwestern Athletic Conference. So today we'll have Gramlin and Southern. Of course, Southern coming in on the new year of Coach Rollins, replacing Coach Odoms, who is now at Norfolk, Virginia. Rollins inheriting a very stocked and loaded team to enter into the fall 21 campaign. He is still carrying the interim basis, which is why we say he's going to be auditioning this fall for a much anticipated contract extension. Now, as we mentioned, there are a lot of expectations from Jag Nation with Rollins now in the driver's seat. He's already fine-tuned some things, the way practices are conducted. And, of course, the atmosphere is high at Jag Nation. Still somewhat of a question mark from the quarterback's position at Southern University. But from my opinion, the driving force for the Jaguars has been their offensive and defensive lines. And although Coach Rollins is saying he's looking for much more depth from those areas, I would have to give Southern a plus grade in those two categories. So the main storyline will be how will the Jags respond to Coach Rollins' style of coaching this coming fall? Has Coach Rollins encamped himself with the right coaching staff? And how will Coach Rollins respond at critical thinking stages of the games? So we'll be watching those as the season continues to progress. Meanwhile, in the state of Louisiana, on the other side of the tracks, how will the Gramlin State Tigers do entering into the fall? We know that it was a very disappointing spring, which has been put in the distant memories of those supporting G Nation. A couple of storylines that are developing from that aspect will be how will Coach Fobbs and the Tigers respond at the very disappointing spring season. The next storyline will be will this finally be the year that Fobbs gets over the Dooley hurdle? And just like Southern University, how will the quarterback play develop for the Grambling State Tigers? Fobbs by far is still one of the most respected and revered coaches, not only within the Southwest Athletic Conference, but throughout college football. And notice I didn't just say FCS football. His work speaks for itself, but just as the infamous words of Janet Jackson, G Nation is all about what have you done for me lately? So we'll see how those storylines develop from Gramlin and Southern University. Meanwhile, we'll continue on down the journey, finishing up the West with tomorrow's episodes Focus on University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff and the Alcorn State Braves. 
I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Thank you guys so much for joining in with us. Be sure to visit the website at obnradio.com. Become a listening partner today and subscribe to our YouTube channel at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. My time is far spent. Well, I must exit stage left for right now. But until the next time, you guys be blessed and we'll see you on the other side.